Hello, how is everybody today? It is June 1st. The new game has been revealed. It is called Skylanders Imaginators. We knew most of this yesterday, but just watched Yrock 8-Bit Family Gamer coin op in the official reveal trailer. I just want to share my initial thoughts, concerns, everything I'm thinking right now. When I get the press release, I'll share more in depth. This video will be a little longer. The rest of the videos will be like Q and A, and they'll be like minute, two minute videos. So if you have a certain question, you can go through them really quick. I don't have any videos, pictures, mainly because they're all the same. Now I'll reference some in this video that you can go check out, help you out. The gimmick, the main thing in this game is you can create your own Skylander. Now, when I heard that initially, I didn't know what to think. Because I didn't know how in-depth it was. You can create a different head, torso, legs, tail even. What I wasn't sure about is if there are only five... 10 options per head, per torso, whatever. That's not much. But watch Wyrox video, customization video. There is 30 plus, 40, whatever. Different heads. There's 40 different torsos you can use. It's really in depth. For people that like to create custom figures in real life, will love this concept. I know GB Games already said he's really looking forward to it because he likes to customize figures. So that's the main thing. The way you do that is you get a... Ah, crap. No, you don't get crap. It's called a... Something Creation Crystal. They're about that big. They actually have a light core effect to them. You can hold one created Skylander in the crystal. There are ten there are ten generic crystals, one per element. There are ten classes of Skylanders you can create. I don't know them all. There are Brawlers, which Tri-Tip is, he's the dinosaur, triceratops looking dude. Uh, Kingpin, or was he the brawler? I don't remember. Golden Queen, Queen is a sorcerer. There's ten of these. There's a bow and arrow one. There's a Ninjini type one, for lack of better words. So, here's where my first kind of question concern comes in. You can create as many different characters as you want, but you can only hold one in each crystal, which means you could literally buy hundreds of crystals. If you like these characters enough, and you create 15 characters per element, you are spending lots more. They are, I believe, and I'll do a video about this, pricing 10 bucks a piece. So if you just want one crystal per element, that is 100 bucks. If you want to create a character in each class and each element, 10 times 10 is 100. And that's not the max. Like I said, you can create as many as you want. I'm going to get one per, but there's certain elements I like more. Life and water, air. Well, pretty much life and water. Who knows? I might buy a couple if I come up with a few different characters I like. That's where the money pit comes in with this game. Beyond that, there are 20 sensei characters, two per element, pretty basic, like trap masters, superchargers, 
There are 10 or 11 actual villain figures. You've seen Golden Queen. Most places say 11, but Family Gamer TV did an interview and the guy he interviewed said 10. Five minutes? Alright. Um, what else to go over? Corey also said, I'll say that in this video, that Chaos probably is not a figure because he's the main villain again, so he can't be a villain sensei. The villains are also called senseis. Eon kind of converted them to Skylanders. So Chaos probably will not be, which will probably bum out a lot of people. There is a use for your vehicles. There's going to be races that you can do. Whether they're online or not, I don't know. No word on PvP or any other online yet. They'll wait till the end. Supercharged, I believe. They really didn't say anything <coughs> about that. So really close to launch. I think Best Buy leaked it out or something. Oh, what else? I think, I'll do this here, I think that because we had these separate things, the traps, the vehicles, people figured out these don't carry over to the next game. So they thought, Activision, Toys for Bob thought, we're not going to create an extra different gimmick. They won't be used in the next game. I hope that... <clears throat> I'm getting some juice, watermelon, it's really good. I'm just seeing what the dog's doing. I hope that you'll be able to use your creative character in the next game. Although that would kind of be difficult just because the amount of customization there is. Um... Sorry, I'm thinking in my head. I think that's... It looks like a good game. Yeah, I should tell you if I think it looks like a good game. Watch out for the crystals. You could buy as many as you want. That's where the... You're going to spend crazy amounts of money if you're not careful. will come from... Not many characters. 20. That's not bad. And it looks like a typical... Skyliner style game and online it looks like not much if you have any questions below put them below and when I get the press release which will be right now when I go upstairs I'll try to answer them a bunch of short easy videos to watch next because I don't want to bore you for too long that's it I'm done Hopefully you sticked around and tell me what you think below. I can't do eight minute videos. My voice is gone. Adi ah. <laughs>